This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. That was Bob Marley, the real situation. Well, a top Republican Internet strategist who was set to testify in a case alleging election tampering in 2004 in Ohio has died in a plane crash. Mike Connell was the chief IT consultant to Karl Rove and created websites for the Bush and McCain electoral campaigns. He also set up the official Ohio state election website reporting the 2004 presidential election returns. Connell was reportedly an experienced pilot. He died instantly Friday night when his private plane crashed in a residential neighborhood near Akron, Ohio. Michael Connell was deposed one day before the election this year by attorneys Cliff Armbeck and Bob Fitrakis about his actions during the 2004 vote count and his access to Karl Rove's email files and how they went missing. Velvet Revolution, a nonprofit investigating Connell's activities, revealed this weekend that Connell had recently said he was afraid George Bush and Dick Cheney would, quote, throw him under the bus. Cliff Arnbeck had also previously alerted Attorney General Michael Mukasey to alleged threats from Karl Rove to Connell if he refused to, quote, take the fall. Well, Mark Crispin Miller joins us now, a professor of media culture and communication at New York University, the author of several books, including Loser Take All, Election Fraud and the Subversion of Democracy 2000 to 2008, and Fooled Again, How the Right Stole the 2004 Election and While They'll Steal the Next One, Too. Uh, Mark Crispin Miller joins us now in our firehouse studio. Welcome to Democracy Now! Good to be here, Amy. Thank All right. You. Well, we had you on right before the election, uh, because that's when Mike Connell was being deposed. Uh, this news that came out of his death and a uh, um, plane crash on Friday night, talk about what you understand has happened. Well, uh, I cannot assert with perfect confidence that this was no accident, but I will say that the circumstances are so suspicious and so convenient for Rove and the White House that I think uh, we're obliged to investigate this thing very, very thoroughly. And, and that, that means, first of all, uh, taking a close look at some of the stories that were immediately circulated to account for what happened, that it was bad weather. That was the line they used when Wellstone's plane went down. There had been bad weather, but it had passed two hours before. And this comes from a woman at the airport information desk in Akron. We're told that his plane was running out of gas, uh, which is a little bit odd for a, a highly experienced pilot like Connell. But apparently, with, with, when the plane went down, uh, there was an explosion, a fireball that uh, actually charred and pocked some of the house fronts in the neighborhood. Uh, people can go online and see the footage that news crews took. Uh, but beyond the, you know, dubiousness of the official story, we have to take a close look at, uh, and a serious look at all, all the uh, charges that uh, the Connell was was. Uh, now he had asked make. the attorney general Mukasey for uh, protective custody because of threats to him and his wife. He reported threats to his lawyer Cliff Arnebeck. And Arnebeck, uh, also, uh, Velvet Revolution heard from tipsters as well, uh, tipsters who also claimed that uh, Connell's life was at risk. Stephen Spoonamore, the, the whistleblower who, who, was the first, who was the one to name Connell in the first place, also uh, had an ear to the inside. He's also very connected. And all these people were saying, uh, Rove is making threats, the White House is very worried about this case. Having heard all this, Arnebeck uh, contacted Mukasey. He contacted Nancy Rogers, who was the Ohio attorney general, and he wrote a letter to the court telling all of them that this man should be in protective custody. Uh, he is an important witness in, in a RICO case. Uh, please do something to, to uh, look after him, and they didn't respond to this. So explain what this case is all about and exactly what Mike Connell um, has been doing over these last years. What does it mean to be Karl Rove's IT guru? Well, what it, uh, the lawyers in the case refer to him as a, as a high IQ Forrest Gump, by which they mean that, that he seems to have been present at the scene of every dubious election of the last eight years. We're talking about Florida in 2000. We're talking about uh, uh, Ohio in 2004. We're talking about Alabama in 2002. He seems to have been involved in the theft of Don Siegelman's reelection for governor. 
Uh, there's some evidence that links him with the uh, Saxby Chambliss Max Cleland Senate race in Georgia in 2002. To be Karl Rove's IT guru uh, seems to have meant basically setting it up so that votes could be electronically shaved uh, to the disadvantage disadvantage of the Democrats and the advantage what of the Republicans. What do you mean, electronically shaved? Well, I mean, you've got all these precincts all over Ohio. They're counting up their votes. What does he have to do with this? Well, specifically, there's a, there's a computer architecture uh, uh, setup called Man in the Middle, which involves shunting the uh, election returns from, you know, the state in question, in this case, Ohio, shunting them to a, a separate computer uh, elsewhere. All of the election returns in Ohio in 2004 went from the Secretary of State's uh, website, this is um, Ken Blackwell, to a separate computer in a basement in Chattanooga, Tennessee, which was under the control of another private company called Smart Tech. So we have now two private companies, GovTech Solutions, which is Connell's company, Smart Tech, which is run by a guy named Cliff Aberbeck. And the company, the third private company that managed the voting tabulators in Ohio was called Triad. All three of these companies worked closely together on election night in Ohio in 2004. It turns out that the state's own IT person was sent home at 9 p.m. He said, go ahead, go home, we'll take care of this. So that this trio of, of highly partisan, and let me add, uh, Christianist, companies basically what, took over the whole— What do you mean, whole, Christianist? Well, they're, they're radical, theocratic uh, uh, activists, particularly, particularly uh, uh, Triad and Smart Tech. Uh, you know, uh, they're, they're fervently uh, anti-choice. Well, Mike Connell was. In fact, many said that's what motivated him through all of this, is a fierce anti-abortion He told—Connell told Spoonamore that one of the primary reasons why he helped Bush Cheney steal elections was to save the babies. I do think, though, that we have to draw a distinction between Connell, on the one hand, and the uh, uh, Averbeck and, and the Rapp family on the other, because Connell was, was far less uh, ferocious in his uh, political views. He, he was an ardent anti-abortionist, it's true, but he wasn't quite as, uh, as hardcore as the others. And, in fact, that's, you know, he was a little bit alienated from the others, and that's one of the reasons why he was inclined to talk and so on. But the fact is, that, uh, to answer your question, that in election night in 2004, uh, uh, it had been Connell, uh, with these uh, other two companies working with him, who had, who had managed the, the, uh, the computer setup, enabling Ken Blackwell to study the maps of precincts and voter turnout very carefully and figure out how many votes they need. By shunting the data to Chattanooga, they kind of slowed down the data stream. Wasn't Coral Rove's email also there in Chattanooga on some of these servers? Yes, yes. The, the same servers were used to host a whole bunch of highly partisan websites and and also indeed Carl Rove's emails were were uh, on that server that have too. Gone missing. They 